Hello everyone, this is Maran Yes. Today I'll show you what are if statements and input function and why we need them. First let's turn on Python. Good. Now let's say in Python at least you want to run a condition. That is you want the program to do something based on something else. Let's say for example you have a number and if it is an even number you would like it to print even and if it is an odd number you would like it to print odd. In Python those are called if statements. I will show you an example. First let's create a variable greeting and set it to hello for now. Let's first save the program. Now to make an if statement what should you do? In Python you have to start entering if the if keyword Followed by the condition. What is the condition? It's a statement that will either return true or false. If it is true, whatever follows after that will run. Otherwise, the block will get skipped. So for me, the condition will be whether greeting is equal to hello. And then after you enter the statement, put a colon, followed by an enter. Now, you may notice these double equal sign, whereas to the single equal sign here. This is something that you should know, the difference between the two. In Python, a single equal sign means that you are assigning a value to a variable. A double equal sign means that you're comparing a value with a, a variable or another value. This is so important that I'll put a comment on it. And single equal sign is assignment A double equal sign is comparison. Now back to the if statement. Inside the if I pressed enter. You notice this indentation. Python was made to be naturally linguistic, meaning based on languages. Meaning there isn't a lot of syntax, just a lot of words. So because of that, you need indentation to have some kind of form for the computer to understand. If you didn't keep an indent, you would end up with an error. So I have an indent. I'll press the print. And inside that, I'll ask it to print something. Let's ask it to print hello again. Now let's run it. First save it. You see that? I set the greeting variable to hello and the if statement checks whether greeting is equal to hello. It does so it prints out hello again. Now I want to do something. In the variable and the comparison statement I set the first letter h to a capital. Let's set the value in the statement to be a lowercase h. Let's run it. You see that? Nothing. What is that for? We only have an if statement, which means if this if statement is true, it will run this program. If it isn't, well, it won't do anything, really, because we don't provide 
any other if statements. But we set greeting to hello and the comparison statement is also checking whether greeting is hello. To us, we know that these are both the same thing. So what's the problem? This is the problem. Computers are case sensitive, meaning even if you replace one w letter with its uppercase or lowercase version, it will treat the entire text or string as two different things. Which is why you always need to set the values as lowercase. But what, if, but what if you can't? Like for example, when you ask a user to input something, what if they throw in a bunch of uppercase letters or lowercase letters? How do you fix that? You can use the string function called lower. To use it, you put the variable or string followed by a dot followed by the function lower. This is a method. The difference between a method and a function is this. This is a function which has the value in there and this is a method which has the value here. Just note that for now. We'll get to that later. Now I've set the greeting variable to its lowercase version. Now let's try it again. You see that? Even though we had an uppercase here and a lowercase here, it converted all the uppercase letters to lowercase. Now, what if we enter something different? And I'm not talking about letters. The whole thing being different, the whole word, like by. If you run this, well, obviously it won't return anything because we haven't programmed it to do something when you have a buy. So, how do we make it to do it? We have two options. One is to use another if greeting dot lower is equal to equal to buy colon print buy again. You see that? The if statement done it. But we also have another option. Because there's an if statement above, instead of using another if below it, directly below it, you can put an elif, like this. Elif followed by the condition followed by the colon. It's exactly the same as an if statement, except that the if is replaced by an elif. And elif in Python stands for else if. You get the idea, right? If, or else if, or else if again, and so on. You can add as many else ifs as you want. Let's run this. You see that? Now, what if you want a default statement to be printed? Like as in, for example, if all else fails, we wanted to do something. For that, we use the else block. You start by entering the else word, followed by a colon, then press enter, followed by whatever you want to type. I'll ask you to type, what is this? Perfect. Now, what does else stand for? Well, else stands for just else, meaning, to the computer, if the, all the above statements fail, just do this. This is the default case in Java. In Python, this is just the else case. Now, you may notice that the else does not have any condition like the if and elif has. This is because else is a default. It will run whenever the ifs and elifs fail. Now, I have set greeting to buy so let's just change it to something else like say car let's run this it's asking what is this well it's obviously the word car but we haven't programmed it to tell what does car mean so because of that the else statement runs now whenever we wanted to change the value greeting we always had to 
input it in the code like currently it's now car if I wanted to change it to door I would have to hard code it meaning change the code itself instead of doing that Python has provided us a neat function that is called input to use it you just put it like this input brackets and inside that the question that the computer will ask to the user let's say hello or bye a colon and a space the colon and space are just for these the punctuation as in so that the text doesn't come directly smash into the question let's run it you see that it doesn't directly run everything else below it it first asks the user the input and then waits for a result let's say hello you see that it took the input set it to greeting and once it got the value these if elif and else statements will run we, we already programmed hello so it prints hello again thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoyed it thank you